the government. It loves you and wants to keep you safe and well. It even wants to make paying taxes, fines, and court costs easier for you. How? Well, you'll need to meet your straw man. He was born the same day you were. He looks like you, has the same name, and lives in your house, but you never knew he existed. You will have even paid his parking tickets or taxes. The worst part? He's been dead from day one. From every birth certificate, a legal personality, or legal fiction, is created with the same name to confuse little old you into thinking it's you. So, there is a human you and a paper you, or as it's commonly known, a straw man. So when it seems like government officials, court clerks, or the police are speaking English, they aren't. They're speaking legalese, designed to make you agree to verbal and written contracts without even knowing about it, all spun from Black's Law Dictionary. For example, when the police say, do you understand, you'll say, yes. What they are really saying is, do you stand under our authority? Oops a daisy, you just created a verbal contract with them. Oh, you clever government. Did you know that whenever you register something, you are handing over title to the person you register it with? That's right! Whenever you register something with the government, they assume it belongs to them. Registered your car? Super! Now you are the registered keeper of your vehicle, and the government can crush it when you don't pay your, ahem, <clears throat> straw man's taxes. Expecting a new bundle of joy? Well then, you need to register your little darling with a birth certificate. Then they can start the process all over again and create a new straw man for your little one. Isn't that great? So when Junior grows up, he'll be able to generate revenue just like you have. When you notify on your baby by signing the birth certificate, your child becomes a ward of state. And if the government doesn't like what you're doing, they'll assume it's okay to take the child away or make new rules for things they don't like. Not enough school? Smacking your child? Shouting too loudly? Then it's off to social services for the little one. When you get a bill, it's sent to you but belongs to your straw man, not you. That's why bills, fines, and summons start with Mr., Mrs., or Ms. Sometimes you'll see your surname in capitals, just like on a gravestone. That's because your straw man is dead and just a silly piece of paper, created before you could comprehend or even consent to it. When you go to court, you represent your straw man, so you, the human, take on any costs, fees, taxes, and fines involved for the straw man. The human you doesn't even need to pay them, but you made a contract with the court by appearing on behalf of your legal personality or straw man, just like the government knew you would. Confused? <laughs> well, don't worry. The government doesn't want you to know anyway. If you knew, you'd stop paying things like council tax and parking tickets. Because when you go to court, you are representing your straw man. You are you, alive and made of flesh and blood. Your straw man, or legal personality, is a piece of paper created from your birth certificate. And you think it's you. What a silly Billy. Would you like to know more? Well then go over to tpuc.org. Get up, get informed, and get real! You see, there are two kinds of law. This is a subject I, I love. I've been talking, talking about this for years. There are two kinds of law on the earth. 
that rule the whole world. But most people don't know that. All over the world, all governments are ruled by what is called civil law. Civil law goes back to a Latin word, civili, which goes back to the word illi. Oh God, I mean, you go on for hours on this stuff. Civil law, which is called in all countries, the law of the land. So you'll say, well, you can't do that because that's against the law of the land. The law of the land is civil law, Roman civil law, the law of the land. But there is a second law which also operates all over the earth identical. It's called UCC, Uniform Commercial Code. That is the law of God in the world of business. I don't care if you're in Japan, in Africa, in China, in, in Istanbul, Turkey. If you have a company, if you have a corporation, if you are doing business where you buy and sell and make money, you are operating on this earth under something called UCC, Uniform Commercial Code. Because if all countries worked on a different commercial code, then nobody could do business with anybody. You couldn't trust Japan to pay you. you Japan couldn't trust America to pay them for the cars. Because everybody has their own laws. Uh-uh. Under the Caesars of Rome, they established under Caesar that all nations in the empire that do business, everybody plays on a, on a level field. If you do business in Africa with China, you pay them. And if Africa does uh, uh, business with American companies, you pay them. You pay whatever it is you're doing business, you don't mess around. The most severe law in this world is called UCC, Uniform Commercial Code. It's the Bible of business on the earth. Uniform Commercial Code. Uniform Commercial Code is based directly on Vatican Canon Law on the Roman canon law. Consequently, when a ship pulls into port, it pulls in and stops in its call in its berth. The ship is now in its berth. Because it is on the law of the high seas or commercial maritime, UCC commercial law rules the seas. So when the ship pulls into its berth, the first thing that the captain must do is to present a certificate of manifest to the port authorities, which means that the port authorities need to know how much is on this ship that you're bringing into our country and our economy. How many TVs, how many cars, uh, whatever you're bringing, how much are you bringing into our economy? So you have to have a certificate of manifest of what is the value of your ship here, what are you doing? Consequently, when you are born, you come out of your mother's water. Therefore, you must have a birth certificate, a certificate of manifest, because you are a corporation-owned item. You are a human resource. This goes back to the German Nazi concept that every human coming out of their mother's water must be birthed. And therefore, you have to have a certificate, a manifest, to see how much this individual is going to make for us in our new world order. I'm telling you that until you understand the laws, the symbols, the emblems, what these words mean, you're never going to suspect how far gone we really are. Did you know, for instance, that your birth certificate is a security on the stock exchange in the New York stock market. Did you know that? Because if you order your birth certificate, get a new one, order your birth certificate, it'll only cost you, sometimes it's free, it'll only, only cost you a few dollars, order your birth certificate. On your birth certificate, all birth certificates in this country, on the bottom, it will tell you, this is printed on security papers. Do not accept if not on full color security paper then on the right hand corner you will always have a series of numbers red numbers printed on the on the birth certificate those numbers are a security stock exchange number on the world stock exchange you go to any good stock or office and ask them check these numbers in your computer and see how much this stock is worth the certificate and they will check it on the new york stock exchange and find you your birth certificate is a stock 
on the stock exchange in America. Why? Because you are worth money to the international bank that bought you in 1930. We need to wake up. This is serious stuff. I've always been interested in the occult. Occult is simply a word meaning hidden, and so much of our powers in this world and the way things work are, are hidden. And uh, the more one looks at this subject of how the world actually works, you begin to see that there's a magical system, and I'm telling you there really is a magical system dominating the world of the Western civilization to go to the basis, the fundamental foundation on which things sit in order to understand. Begin to see how magical use of words and terms and symbols are used. You need to start looking at the world of the occult in politics and religion. And the powers that be in this world have set up a world of symbols and emblems and terms and catchphrases. And it, once you understand how this system works, it's fascinating because for the first time, the world opens up to you a whole new perspective on how government works, on how banks work, on how institutions and education. It is very well planned, organized, and directed. There is a hidden agenda, so to speak. And it's been my... Uh, desire to uncover this and once you begin to see the symbols and realize that the symbols for the national coats of arms for countries the flags the seals the presidential seals the emblems for the logos and emblems on corporate uh, corporations especially the, uh, the the corporate emblems for motion pictures and television companies like Columbia broadcasting system. CBS has the eye. The Colombian uh, system goes back to the Colombian faction of the Illuminati back in the early 1700s, not the late 1700s. And I set up a system of merchant banking and had their Phoenician Canaanite symbols and words connected to their societies, their banking societies. We're talking about in the Middle, in the middle East and then through the Greece and ultimately through Rome and then into Britannia and ultimately into this country comes an ancient Druidic Phoenician Canaanite magical system of finance, government, education and all of it is right in front of you but if you don't understand what the words are and what the words mean you're never going to figure out how uh, this stuff works. And incidentally, where, where do you find a bank? We go to banks all the time. Where do you find a bank? Banks are on both sides of a river. They're called river banks. What does a river bank do? It directs the flow of the current sea. Your money is referred to as the current sea. This is why when you go to a court, you have the current electricity because it's the juice. And if you don't have the juice, you don't have it. So if you don't have the juice, you can't capitalize. And the capital is a Latin word, meaning money. Consequently, Caesar ruled from what was referred to in history books, Caesar ruled from up on the hill. It was called Capitol Hill, Capitoline Hill, with the Senate. You need to understand that Washington, D.C., as a Jesuit Catholic establishment under international maritime admiralty law, and once you begin to see how the system of the ancient uh, Catholic system, the Jesuits, the ancient Roman Empire, the Phoenician Canaanite banking system, 
is all part of a world dominating system. Again, I'm saying you better do your homework. You need to understand that according to the old Phoenician Canaanite system, which we call today our judicial education and judicial system, there is no law in this country or in the Western world, no law, federal, state, county, city, commercial, it makes no difference. There is no law on the books anywhere in this country that applies to you as an individual creature. There is no law. They have no control over you, your flesh and blood self. But somebody has to control this show, and so consequently, the ancient Phoenician Canaanites developed a, new, a system by which they would assign to every person a second you. And this is the way it works in America. There is two of you. Consequently, the system has made each one of you a corporation. And how, how now do you distinguish which one, uh, when someone's addressing you, that they're addressing you as the one that your mother gave birth to, or the corporate you? For every piece of important bills, insurance, driver's license, identification, uh, taxes, I don't care what it is. If it's a piece of business, period, in any kind of way, shape, or form, your name must, by law, international maritime admiralty banking law, your name must appear in all capital letters. When you sign your name, upper and lower case, that is applying to your body. Your, your flesh and blood self is spelled, according to British and American law, upper and lower case, capital letter, lower case. That's you, your personal self. There is no law that can be applied to an upper and lower case name, period. Pass and read on a check what, what is said where you sign your name. That's why the attorneys tell you, you better check the small print. The Bible of business on the earth. Uniform Commercial Code. Uniform Commercial Code is based directly on Vatican Canon Law, on the Roman Canon Law. Consequently, when a ship pulls into port, it pulls in and stops in its call in its berth. The ship is now in its berth. Because it is on the law of the high seas, or commercial maritime, UCC commercial law, rules the seas. So when the ship pulls into its berth, the first thing the captain must do is to present a certificate of manifest to the port authorities, which means that the port authorities need to know how much is on this ship that you're bringing into our country and our economy. How many TVs, how many cars, uh, whatever you're bringing, how much are you bringing into our economy. So you have to have a certificate of manifest of what is the value of your ship here. What are you doing? Consequently, when you are born, you come out of your mother's water. Therefore, you must have a birth certificate, a certificate of manifest, because you are a corporation-owned item. You are a human resource. This goes back to the German Nazi concept that every human coming out of their mother's water must be birthed. And therefore, you have to have a certificate, a manifest, to see how much this individual is going to make for us in our new world order. I'm telling you that until you understand the laws, the symbols, the emblems, what these words mean, you're never going to suspect how far gone we really are. Did you know, for instance, that your birth certificate is a security on the stock exchange in the New York stock market. Did you know that? Because if you order your birth certificate, get a new one, order your birth certificate, it'll only cost you, sometimes it's free, it'll only, only cost you a few dollars, order your birth certificate. On your birth certificate, all birth certificates in this country, on the bottom, it will tell you this is printed on security papers. Do not accept, if not on full color, security paper then on the right hand corner you will always have a series of numbers, red numbers, 
printed on the on the birth certificate. Those numbers are a security stock exchange number on the world stock exchange. You go to any good stock uh, office and ask them, check these numbers in your computer and see how much this stock is worth, the certificate. And they will check it on the New York Stock Exchange and find you, your birth certificate, is a stock on the stock exchange in America. Why? Because you are worth money to the international bank that bought you in 1930. We need to wake up. The greatest single enemy to this totalitarian system is a free people of free people who can do their own thinking, investigate everything, and have the ability to, to confront the powers that be. And of course we were called, America was called the land of the free and the home of the brave. We are not free and we are not brave.